Today, I'm pumped to share the ultimate guide to winning in enduro racing. Imagine this, racing through all sorts of terrain, never knowing what's next. I've raced both motocross and enduro, and let me tell you, the thrill of enduro racing is something else. In enduro, every turn, every jump, it's a challenge. It's about making quick decisions and being really good at handling tough spots. After riding through tons of crazy trails and races, I've picked up some top tips and I can't wait to share them with you. But it's not just about winning races, it's about creating incredible memories and being part of a huge group of people who love this sport. If you're starting out or you're already into it, get ready. We're about to dive into the best strategies for winning in enduro racing. So grab your gear, get set, and let's explore the secrets to dominating in enduro races. Get ready to ride like a champ. An essential part of winning in enduro races is preparation, both for your bike and yourself. Your motorcycle needs to be finely tuned and ready for the challenge. Equally crucial is your own preparation, building the strength, endurance, and mental readiness to handle the stress that comes with the race. Remember, no matter how prepared you are, enduro races are full of surprises. That's the beauty and challenge of it, being ready for the unexpected twists and turns that come your way. Drawing from years of experience, I've learned that a successful enduro rider needs determination, adaptability, and precision in bike preparation. Choosing the right tire for the race is absolutely critical. In hard enduro, the tire hardness can help you win race or lose. A mismatch here can easily cost you ideal grip, sapping your strength and stealing precious time on the track. Tweaking your suspension to match the terrain is equally vital. Your mental readiness takes center stage. Believe in yourself. Visualize that triumphant podium finish. But a crucial reminder, never underestimate your competition. Staying realistic is key. Remember, the wrong tire choice could turn victory into defeat faster than you think. I've learned the hard way, losing races due to tire hardness and flat tires. That's why my advice is clear. Always go for moose inside your tires when you hit the race. Don't let tube-related mishaps cost you a win. Trust me, that feeling of disappointment and self-anger is one you want to avoid. And then there's the tubeless system, a game-changer for riders. It outperforms regular tubes, providing maximum grip in tough conditions by allowing you to fine-tune tire pressure. This gives you a significant advantage over other riders who might not use soft moose or a similar system. In extreme races with slippery, rocky terrain, go for a softer tire for the best grip. Pair it with a soft mousse or utilize tubeless at 0.3 bar pressure for optimal performance. However, stick to the tires and pressure you're familiar with. Finding the balance is key, not too hard for grip and not overly soft for speed. Using the same setup in training as you do in races is crucial. It's about understanding your tire's limits and pushing your boundaries safely. Understanding tires and their pressure is crucial in enduro racing, but equally important is setting up your motorcycle to suit you. One vital tip, never tweak suspension settings right before a race. Clickers on suspension change how your bike behaves entirely. Always test your suspension beforehand. If you know the race terrain, find a similar one for testing. Changing suspension settings just before the race? It's a gamble you don't want to take. I'd suggest experimenting with suspension settings and even the handlebar position. But here's the key. Always remember the original settings. This way, if you're not comfortable with the changes, you can easily revert. Here's the trick. Make one change at a time and test it out. That's the only way to figure out if that change works for you. Avoid making several changes at once. Take it step by step for a smoother adjustment. It's all about syncing with your motorcycle, becoming one with it. Don't hesitate to explore new suspension settings. It might not be the most thrilling process, but trust me, the satisfaction of great results makes it worth the time. Remember, there's always a way to make riding easier for yourself. Investing in a high quality seat cover can help you. It provides better grip, preventing sliding and reducing fatigue. Small things matter, 
a good seat cover keeps you in place, saving your hands from unnecessary strain. Quality gloves add comfort, ensuring a better grip on the handlebar. Here's the deal. Sometimes, it's not about the cost, but how you feel using it. If a pricier item makes you more comfortable, it's an investment in your performance. Consider this. If your competition has a less ventilated helmet and you've got a better one, it'll make navigating tough terrain easier. Stay positive and seek benefits in the details. It's these small things that can make a big difference. During training, challenge yourself by placing in awkward positions. You might face the same scenarios during a race. Familiarity with these situations from training can be a huge advantage. My advice? Always strive for improvement, even attempting the seemingly impossible to break mental blocks and erase fear. Racing with close friends during training adds a competitive edge. It's tough to step into a race and expect victory if your training doesn't match the intensity. Simply enjoying casual rides at home won't prepare you for the faster, more dangerous race environment. Let's face it, races can be tough and risky, raising the question of why we pursue them. But to excel, we must confront these challenges in training to build the experience needed to handle high speeds and intense situations. Enduro racing demands mental resilience amidst the stress of competition, battling rivals, handling riding errors, even facing potential crashes. To excel, stability under pressure is crucial. Many skilled riders fall short not due to lack of talent, but because they're not mentally prepared for the race. Experience is K. Racing several races builds this experience over time. But to clinch victory, be ready for the hard work and sweet before the race. It involves sacrifice, giving up comfort, enduring pain, anger, and hardship. The real question is, are you willing to make these sacrifices for the taste of victory? Repetition is key. Choose your tires wisely. Stick to using race-tested tires, ones you've trained with. Never experiment with new gear or equipment during a race. Stick with what's proven. Trying something new without knowing the outcome is a big risk. Experiment with bike adjustments, like suspension tweaks, but only during training and well before the race. Believe in your capabilities. Never underestimate yourself or others. We're all human, all capable of winning. Visualize yourself on that podium and work relentlessly towards it. Respect your competition, but never doubt your potential. Physical fitness, strength, and endurance are crucial for riders. Constant training and pushing your limits are essential to progress. Challenge yourself by simulating race scenarios during training. It toughens you mentally, preparing you to tackle the challenges that races throw your way. Enduro racing is a tough and exhausting journey, but it's crucial to remember that your competitors face similar struggles. Sometimes, it might appear that others have it easier, but often, it's their resilience that sets them apart. Stay persistent in your efforts. Your hard work will pay off. Keep pushing forward towards your moment of triumph. You will become Enduro King. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. I hope you've picked up some helpful tips. See you soon.